What's going on, guys? I thought I was going to go into this colon cancer thing and, and summarize it pretty quickly, but this got complicated fast, and honestly, guys, my head is starting to hurt. So I'm going to try to explain this as quickly and easily as possible to you guys. There are four main topics we have to touch. The first one is the hydrocarbons and carcinogenic compounds that are formed allegedly when meat is heated at a high temperature. The second and third things are intertwined. It's how meat in general is related to colorectal cancer in studies and how the actual reason for that is like processed meat and nitrates and nitrosamines. And the fourth thing is the heme iron, which is an, is another topic in entirety to discuss. So first, we'll, we'll go over this real quick. Uh, heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are formed when meat is heated at a high temperature, but what they pretty much did was they isolated this compound and they fed it in like thousands of times what would normally be in a diet to rats. So I'm surprised the rats j didn't just die on the spot, to be honest, because if you injected anything humans would normally eat, you know, in thousands of amounts, then they'd probably die from it. Whether it's even like injecting someone with salt or potassium, they would die. So this is, you know, like taking the chemical out of the context of its natural state. It's not like they fed these rats smoked brisket for two weeks. I, I'm sure those rats would be very happy if they were eating smoked brisket for two weeks. So that first thing, concern about cooking meat, creating carcinogens, is is not practical in, in regards to how they came to that conclusion. So the second part, we have to first understand that there are different types of colorectal cancer. There's colorectal cancer, there's rectal cancer, there's... Uh, distal colon cancer and there's proximal colon cancer and they all occur in various parts of the large intestine and this is where it gets fishy because colorectal cancer is the only risk that's increased by consuming meat none of the other colon cancers are increased by consuming even processed meat so uh, now that we know there's different types uh, we have one study here uh, reddit and processed meat consumption colorectal cancer a systematic review and meta-analysis and the important thing to note here is that when we're talking about red meat and processed meat, we're talking about beef, pork, lamb, mutton, beef, burgers, veal, horse, liver, bacon, bacon rashers, lunch meat, ham, sausages, salami, hot dogs, smoked meat, salted meat. And honestly, guys, what do people eat out of this? Beef burgers here, bacon, lunch meat, ham, salami. The other meats that are mentioned, salted meats, whole beef, pork, lamb, and the art is consumed nearly as much as the processed meats and uh, the smoked meats and those that have the chemicals in them. And not to mention, they lump these all together for this study. So it's not like they're isolated. And this study pretty much found that colorectal cancer risk was increased, but none of the other colon cancer risks were increased. So definitely something interesting there. Uh, the next study it pretty much came to the same conclusion. It, it analyzed some things, and it pretty much said that red and processed meat significantly but moderately increase CRC risk by 20 to 30 percent. But once they isolated the meats by subtype in different countries, they got drastically different results. In the Netherlands, for example, there were weak associations between beef and wild type and colon tumors, and an inverse association with pork and colon and rectal tumors. So people that ate pork actually had less cancer. And uh, this inverse association cannot be explained and requires further replication and study. Maybe you should stop lumping in processed meats with regular meat. So in another trial, colorectal cancer risk was increased with pork and lamb, but not with beef and veal. So, you know, definitely... Some factors we could talk about there that I won't touch on. The main point I'm focusing on here is these studies are finding drastically different and contradictory results. I could try to explain that, but in regards to like how they feed the animal, maybe the pork is typically processed and the lamb, is, but we're not talking about that now. Two studies from Japan investigated the effect of red meat subtypes. They concluded that not only any type of red meat, but also total red meat consumption was not a risk factor for colorectal cancer. But guess what? Second study from Japan says women have a high risk of colon cancer when they eat pork and beef. So very contradictory. Denmark, another study saying that the risk for rectal cancer was elevated for pork and substitution of fish for red meat was associated with significantly lower risk of colon cancer but not rectal cancer. You know, another study, they stated that beef consumption was associated with increased risk but no association with rectal cancer 
Uh, lamb consumption was also associated with increased risk of colorectal cancer. No association observed for pork. And they recommend further analysis, especially regarding the role of pork. So these, these results are drastically, drastically different. And what we can surmise from that is that heme iron might play a role in the people that are consuming the red meats. Uh, although red meat in the context of this study is every meat under the umbrella. Let's just summarize this study first. Uh, they say that, they pretty much say that there's so much variable data that we need to do further investigations. And then they just recommend that, you know, you should consume all these foods moderately in a balanced diet. So the next study, processed meat and colorectal cancer, uh, the conclusion here, I'm referencing the nitrosamine thing. What they say here is that uh, these toxic compounds are not specific to processed meat, but it's likely that the nitrate curing enhances the toxicity. So nitrite binds to the heme iron, and the nitrosyl heme could yield more toxic lipoperoxides and or cytotoxic agents that native myoglobin-bound heme. So I'm going to try to explain. This, guys, this is way above my pay grade. This is like biochemistry stuff, but I will try to explain it as well as I can. So this study says that there are some interactions between heme iron and n nitroso compounds. This, uh, the next study... Uh, associated between Remy consumption and colon cancer. We're not, what this study pretty much says, and again, guys, I'll link all these studies in the order I talk about them, is that we're not showing meat consumption in the context of a healthy diet, and we're not looking at other factors in people's diets. So, so it's not really, you know, even in the context where they're only looking at meat consumption outside of processed meat consumption, it's still not in the context of a healthy diet or in a normal situation. So we'll talk about nitrosamines first because my heme iron is more of a theory. So what happens is in dry heated model systems, uh, when you heat a uh, mixture of amino acids, creatine, and glucose, simulating the composition of six different kinds of meats, we're dry heated to simulate the formation of heterocyclic amines and meats. Uh, this pretty much says that these reactions occur to these meats in this specific cooking method. Nitrosodimethylamine has been shown to be formed in certain foods as a result of the direct fire drying process. And nitrosamines are chemical compounds of an amine. Most nitrosamines are carcinogenic. So what I'm going to summarize is that this dry, direct dry fire heating process is so these gigantic heating elements uh, when you put this is what they're heating the foods in. And the nitrates that are in these foods, it reacts with this specific drying process that's using nitrogen, and it forms these carcinogenic nitrosamines. So that is my understanding of why processed meats are a problem. It's, it's not necessarily the nitrates. It's when they're heated in this certain way, uh, they cause these problems. So basically, to tie this all together, all the previous studies I talked about that are that say that colorectal cancer risk is increased and that include and they all include the processed meats this is the reason colorectal cancer risk rate is increased because these carcinogenic compounds made from this direct fire drying process with nitrates is is why so that that nitrate thing the processed meat thing i think i tied all of that together but the heme iron thing is uh is very complicated because my understanding of the reason that heme iron is a problem, and I haven't been able to find any... I mean, the data shows what I'm about to say, but it's not conclusive. So heme iron, when you don't have enough of certain vitamins and minerals in your body, particularly vitamin A and calcium, and especially vitamin D3, you can't absorb iron in your body properly. So what's happening is these people that have very high levels of heme iron in their diet from consuming processed meats aren't getting the vitamins that are supposed to be in those meats. They're getting the iron, but maybe those meats weren't on pasture. Maybe they're not high quality. Maybe they're not eating organ meats. You need to consume vitamin A. You need to get the sun for vitamin D3. You need to get calcium. You need to get a bunch of other vitamins and minerals in order to metabolize iron properly. So it's safe to say these people have inflammatory diets. They cannot metabolize the, vi the iron properly. They're missing vitamins. So there's definitely some tie-ins to heme iron, inflammation, lack of other vitamins in the diet. It's not a problem with heme iron in itself. It's a deficiency of other things. I think I've touched on all of these points. Hopefully, I've summed this up for you guys. I will link these studies. I know this video is a complete mess and very confusing, but 
guys, I recorded this at least five times. <laughs> like, this is this is the best I got. So, uh, hopefully, this can get. So, basically, to sum this up, any study that shows association with meat and colon cancer is not isolating actual fresh meat we're eating. It's always processed meats. And in regards to the heme iron problem in actual meat we're eating, it's more of a problem of not getting nutrients and vitamins from other parts of the animal and properly raised animals. And the nitrate and nitrosamine thing ties into the processed meat. Uh, it's you know the, that specific process and curing of the meats with those chemicals and the dry fire heating process is the problem. 